Transnet has decided to reposition the blue train to be at the center of this vital sector of our tourism market. In April this year, we decided to invite bidders uh, to submit proposals to partner with us in developing and piloting a luxury brand strategy for the train. This process is anchored in our mandate from our, the Department of Public Enterprises to ensure that uh, private sector participation is an integral part of our market demand strategy. Our goal is to use this strategy to support um, a business case to recapitalize the blue train, which may include building new state-of-the-art uh, trains and coaches. At the moment, we have two sets um, of, the, of the blue train, and in future, uh, we may be able to build many more to extend the reach and the footprint of the blue train. We believe that partnerships uh, with the private sector uh, investors and operators will contribute quite immensely and tremendously to funding as well as also to skills enhancement uh, to be able to grow an enterprise uh, of the nature uh, of the blue train. So therefore, as a result of that, we searched for a suitable partner with the relevant footprint, the reach and expertise to co-manage and grow the blue train with us. All of the bidders were subjected to rigorous, fair and um, open scrutiny through our procurement processes. We, we, we received five responses, uh, of which two made it through the, uh, the shortlist. And today I am very proud to announce a unique and groundbreaking Blue Train partnership with Africa's largest tourism, leisure and gaming group, Sun International won the bid. We've got some iconic properties, uh, in particular the Table Bay uh, Hotel with uh, Table Mountain as being one of the most visited tourist attractions uh, in South Africa. We've got the Palace at uh, Sun City and we've got the Royal Livingston at Vic Falls. Destinations which we brand Sunlux and which are destinations all accessible by rail.